Whoa! It's Woolsey. Welcome to the chat decides everything I build challenge. At the moment, I have a pinned message in the stream where you can send me a song. It's ominous when there's no title. What is this gonna be? This sounds good. Okay, this is also an interesting song. I could build with this. Okay, we all know how this goes. One of the most popular songs in GD. Oh my gosh, how do I decide this? It's flip-flopping so badly. Heads is one. It's heads. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Demon's winning by a mile. Easy versus Extreme is so close. It's It keeps flip-flopping. Look at this. Easy is too forgettable. Easy for sure. I haven't made an Easy Demon in such a long time, and I want to make an Extreme Demon in a video. Before I even build, I need to know what game mode I'm doing. Which one do you not want that I can take out the pole? Get rid of 0.5? Okay. Okay, it's now neck and neck between two and three. I don't know how you guys... A, a this good at matching the pole. Guys, make it 50 50. Stop making it 50 50. We could just split it between two and three if it's going to be this close. Cube is winning over every single other game mode. You choose what layout blocks? Do you really want to choose what layout blocks? Oh no. You guys suck. Add a chomper somewhere and give it a name. When we come to add spikes in the level, you know what? Just, just for you, seven loots. Thank you for the 10 RONs. Just for you, we'll add the pole for the spikes to only be monsters. We are going to rotate these objects a little bit at least. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. This is awful. This is- how am I ever gonna make a level with this? This is for my layout, guys. Like, what even are the hitboxes of these things? Can you not see the hitbox of this thing? Well, that's horrible to use. We could use this, to be fair. We could use this. No matter what color I set this, it's always going to be the same thing, right? If I give it a color, let's just say number two for now. We can start off with something like red, and then we can start moving down and scaling up on the layer above, and then hue changing it on both sides. So we can go like plus... What do we want to do here? We've got to get this color right. I think an orange would be nice. So we can hue change these, and then it becomes a multiple layered spike, right? So then we can keep going, layer it above, go back to the HSV, and change the color again. So hopefully we can get a layered spike here that would use these monsters in a nice way. What a ridiculous list already. I put easy demons twice. I'm so smart. Am I allowed saw blades? Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes, of course. But you guys want the cursed thorn only. I think I see that right. So I think what we do is we follow a similar format, but what we're gonna do, instead of making them the layer above this time, they're gonna go the layer behind. So now we have a cool little pattern there, and I can set this guy's face to be a new color channel, number one, for example. Yep, okay. Okay, you guys are voting in wave straight away. This is gonna be a two times speed wave because as I promised, we have to mix the speed between two and three because the vote was tied. Man, I gotta figure out more creative structuring here. Ooh, we have a mix between robot and spider. I'm gonna keep building for now. Spider is winning. Alrighty, make another gameplay part after this and then we start actually thinking about gameplay. I don't know why I said gameplay, I meant deco. Seriously? Okay, what kind of duel? Well, you guys picked ball as the second most. It's gonna do another spider orb on both sides. Or do we just make it one side? You guys said asymmetrical, right? That would be cool if I could put an orb in the middle. That is actually the middle of the screen. Dude, this is embarrassing. I can never make a duel on stream. So I don't know why I even tried. It'll give you guys the option. I should have just rigged it. Where to start? We gotta choose a background. We could go with the plane background, the space background, the Halloween, or the castle. Okay, I think this background wins. You guys want particles in the background. Do we want a gravity or a radius? These make circle-based effects. Gravity makes, like, kind of area-based effects. We're close here. We're very close. Looks like Radius is gonna win. Now, what I like to do with particle effects is I like to fade them in and fade them out. We could go into the visual tab, and we can just crank the variance on all of the colors here to the max. Now, what I could do with this particle, by the way, is turn off additive which will make these colors a lot more of a block color rather than tying the color into the background. If I set the background to super bright, you can see the particles when they're dark, right? Some of them are a little bit darker. You can see they're a block color. However, if I have this on additive, they're all very white because the color of the purple is boosting their color super bright. We're gonna go rainbow with the background. We're gonna set up a color trigger for the background, which is gonna fade it on a 0.5. And we're just gonna start working our way around the color wheel as consistently as I can. Now I need to make these somewhat evenly spaced. But you see how it's kind of passing through each color here, which is going to take us all the way back to default. And then we can take that entire set, copy paste, and just decrease the distance between each trigger and make the fade time much shorter. So this way it'll be a much quicker loop real quick. We're just going to do this. 
I would pull it, but it is part of the background that I was planning. This gradient trigger is going to be on the next free color channel, which is going to copy the color of the background with more brightness added to it. Except we should probably just add that to the gradient itself. I'm going to set both of these to the same color. So it's kind of invisible right now. But if I just add brightness to the trigger alone, this is on color channel one. You can see it's already partly lit up. Uh, I'm probably going to change the way that this gradient works. I'm going to set it to additive just so it has a nicer look on the background when I'm changing the hue across. You see how you can still tell it's red on the other side? This is going to stay there for the entire level, by the way. Looks pretty cool so far to me. You're not going to make me do this. You're not going to bait me into using particles just so you can put the normal face. There's no way. There's actually no way you get away with this. Nothing else stands a chance. If I if I was to theoretically create a poll of 120 of these objects, or however many objects there are, the normal face would solo by at least 30%. So I'm gonna have to use it even though it's even though it's 40%. Or in favor of adding bubbles to the poll, say one. Okay, that's quite a few ones. Okay, there's a lot of ones here. In favor of adding extreme demon face to the lists say two and then in favor of adding stars to the list say three i think this is going to be the poll yeah you see the difference right here guys just by checking it and unchecking it this is what i was trying to explain earlier but i'm going to rewire this trigger to use the object color instead of the color inside this i think the variant should still apply with a hue 180 layer on the other side okay now the color is a little bit more controlled so do i make the particles a different color I'm not seeing the magic right now we could do huge stars, though, that then go small. Let's make them go to absolute zero size, and then we could have this little star effect where they start off huge and then go inside. We could add a more colorful layer on top, and you guys can decide if we keep it. We just go to the RGBs here, and we just add a little bit of change for each one. If I just let the, the music play for a bit, this could be hype. <laughs> What's your favorite part that we've done so far? Like, what's the favorite piece of decoration for you guys that we've added? The star background? Nice. Background, copy color, max brightness. These should hopefully work. They're, they're the wrong color, but they're going to change with the background. Yeah, you can make them in a rainbow source if you warp and circle around. Dude, oh my gosh. This is going to use a lot of objects. Wait, you guys might have absolutely cooked. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to place a centerpiece. It's going to be group number 17. And these monsters are going to be group 16. And we can rotate them like saws. Sorry, 18, not 16. So they can have like a fixed rotation of one in four seconds. Can I add a fish foreground? Do you guys want a fish foreground? Dude, 94% is the highest we've had so far. This is how you draw a fish, guys. You make a triangle. Wait, I actually forgot how to draw a fish. Is it like this? Oh, I forgot, dude. I used to I used to like have party trick where I would draw a fish and I forgot how to do it. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I'm trying to draw a fish. Circle other side. Yes, you think you saved me. Whoever did that, you saved me. This fish looks like a missile. Chill. You guys are like, why don't you do an art level? Look at me, man. It, it doesn't look very happy. Everyone's laughing at me, but no one's helping. Okay, now this is how you make a smiley fish. I, I just want to make him happy. How is that a fish? What do you mean, how is that? A okay, how would you guys make a fish then? I need help. <laughs> Wait, there's literally a smiley face in game. <laughs> this is a layer of fish that are going to be in the foreground here. On the X mod, it's going to move faster than the player, I believe. Then we could do the next layer is a little bit quicker. <laughs> You could salvage this. You guys told me to make fish. You guys told me to make fish with a level with a star background. I can, I can, this is fine. Delete fish. Add a bulge on the fish layer. Oh my gosh, you guys are geniuses. Oh, we need to make that T2, T3 range, please. Thank you. And then we add a bulge. Oh my, oh. I, I feel like these are cool. So we're gonna add a couple of layers here just by moving down and to the right like this, and then increasing the layer on it and decreasing the brightness just like this. Oh, now this looks like a bunch of bananas. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. This banana doesn't look very banana -y. Here's how I split the bananas up. I just move them a little bit inwards, decrease the layer by a bit. This doesn't even look like a banana. Fish are actually killing me, bro. <laughs> look at my screen. That's a torpedo, not a banana. Thanks, guys. There's something that can be done here. I know it. I know it. I stretch out those objects and then I make them background colored. And this creates a pretty cool looking gradient for a sec. You see that? That actually kind of looks sick. Ah, here's how I make them look cool. Okay, saturation completely crushes it. <laughs> At what point do I give up? Not kidding, by the way. This doesn't match the banana. Dude, you make my eyes bleed. Okay, well, chill. Okay, so we have rainbow structures here. Don't know how that's going to look overall. Just kind of praying. This is the Woolsey Strat, if you don't know about it, which is just... If you kind of vibe with something, 
Just build it and see what happens. 52% dark blocks. Bread duel. What do you- what does that mean? These words don't go together. Bread duel. And so, I spent the next 25 minutes of my life making every single block in the duel a loaf of bread. So, we're just gonna skim over this. So dumb. Okay, guys, you got you got your wish. I'm I'm so over this. <laughs> uh, I did my best. I forgot to make those spikes. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this level is so good. When does it end? Oh, there we go. Name it Tuna Sandwich. Okay. Tuna Sandwich. If this becomes a video, it's a miracle, but if you want to say hi, YouTube, go ahead. It is what it is. Thank you. Goodbye, folks.